Hello all, I'm Jonathan Cruck, a storyteller. I hold a master's degree in educational theater, and for over 30 years I've been visiting schools, parks, libraries to entertain, enchant, and educate. I'm best known for telling The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and A Christmas Carol in solo shows. My passion, however, has long been for creating programs for each grade in schools to help teachers meet curricular needs. Today I'm going to tell a tale from my Finger Fable program for kindergarten and first graders called Wake Up Sun. You can help. What makes morning good? Why, it's when the sun rises and shines. Now the sun has a little clock with a bell on her head to ring to get him out of his cloud bed. So every morning she will bring, bring, ring. And the sun will give a little snore, but he'll rise and shine. Some mornings the sun, like you and me, feels a little groggy, and on those mornings the little clock sings. Wake up, sun, wake up, sun, time to rise and shine. Come on, let's sing. Wake up, sun, wake up, sun, time to rise and shine. And the sun will rise and shine. One morning, the little clock, bring, bring, rang the bell on her head. Go ahead, give a ring. Bring. But the sun stayed in bed. <laughs> Snoring louder than your dad snores. Go ahead, give a big dad snore. <coughs> yep, that's what the sun did. So the little clock began to sing. Let's sing. Wake up, sun, wake up, sun. Time to rise and shine. But the sun stayed in bed and sang, Lazy bone, sleepy head. I'm gonna stay in bed. <coughs> cried our little clock. I'm in trouble. I know. When you're in trouble, it's good to ask someone for help. Thundy! Thundy, could you please help me wake up the sun? Thundy the thundercloud rolled in. Yeah, I see him sleeping over there. I know what to do. Ha! <laughs> I'll blast him out of bed with a jolt of lightning and a wonder of thunder. Everyone, Please say, Ba-ba-boom! Ba-ba-ba-boom! But our son pulled cloud covers over his head and, you got it, <laughs> snored. Oh, now what will I do, worried the little clock? Well, Thundy said, ask Moon. The little clock cried, Moon! Would you please help me wake up the sun? Well, the moon came round and said, Is that sun still sleeping? I know. I'll tickle him with a moonbeam. Everyone take out a moonbeam and say, Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, pickle, nickel. But the sun, instead of waking, began sneezing. An enormous sneeze. Everyone please say, Hacho! And the sun sneezed the moon and the clock and the old thundercloud right out of the sky. And the sun is still sleeping. And now, the little clock needs your help. Could you make up a way to wake up the sun? Think of something loud that's maybe different from the thunder to wake the sun. Think of maybe something silly to do to wake the sun. We don't want to hurt the sun, just get him out of bed. Are you thinking? Reach up and catch away, put it in your ear, and then you can draw a picture and write words showing how you will wake up the sun. And that's the story of Wake Up Sun. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'm Jonathan Cruck, your storyteller. You can find out more, of course, by, you know, visiting my website.